welcome back everybody to another episode here on the love and science channel i am sam solbright from awaken deeper within.com and today we're going to do another quantum energy report for the fourth week of july um we're moving through this powerful passageway Every passageway is powerful, by the way, and every day is a passageway. There is no separation, and they just intensify as we move through certain dates and certain alignments and certain um, portals, but it is all a continual passageway now, and so as we continue to navigate we are navigating our own internal energies we're navigating our own internal path seeing more feeling more clearing more so that our external reality starts to open up more and more and more and more and more and new earth starts to materialize the frequencies that I tuned into for the week are a lot of the two, two, two codes. So the rebuilding, the reconstruction, the recreating of our realities on a solid foundation. So when we talk about foundations, everything is built on foundation, right? A house is built on a foundation and our 3D realities were built on a foundation of separation, of fear and lack, which is a very unstable foundation, by the way. And we're starting to see that more and more. We're starting to feel that more and more and more. And that is a huge part of this process. Realizing and recognizing that our foundations have been built on very unstable ground is the first step in recreating a whole new foundation. So more and more of our internal 3D foundations are dissolving, are clearing, are cleansing, are being purified, are dis dismantling, you name it. This is allowing a continual dismantling of the 3D world, of our 3D realities, of the 3D structures. And if you can just open yourself up to feeling how the leveling of feel needs to occur in every level so that you can build on solid ground, on the solid foundation of the purity of your light. The foundations that are built through the purity of your light are way more stable than the ones built from ego, from 3D. And so as you continuously open up to these new foundations that are being right now rebuilt, they're rebuilding your entire physical body and physical structure, the more you are going to start to recognize how everything in your reality is now being up hold upheld by those new structures and systems so i'm throwing a lot of things at you right now but just allow yourself to open up to and absorb these codes they're not going to make sense they're going to be far way far more or far too advanced at some level to the linear mind and so you don't have to get caught up in it you don't have to get caught up in trying to figure this out, try to make sense of it, try to be logical, because it's not going to be logical. 
it's not going to make sense to your linear logical mind. And the more you just completely let go of trying to make sense of all of this, the more you're going to allow your body to reconfigure itself so that you can start to follow it. Your body is now becoming more and more and more activated with your light. As this occurs, you are going to be able to move as light. You're going to be able to exist as light. You are going to be able to function as light so that you can start to create a new reality based on new foundations and based on new systems and new structures that are completely opposite of the 3D systems. Uh, one of the reasons why before it was a lot more challenging, I'm going to say that, is because our bodies were still bound by 3D. Our three our physical bodies were still holding on to the old structures. This created a really a heaviness inside. It literally paralyzed us where we were not able to move and make those decisions and break ourselves off of everything that was still part of the old. Not to say that it's not going to bring up that it's not going to be challenging because it will still have its challenges. But as the light, as the light body activates more and more and more, as your physical body starts to hold more and more and more of your own soul light, it is easier. It is easier to move. It is easier to function. It is easier to speak as light. Speak your truth as light. Speak up for yourself as light. Express yourself as light. Move your realities as light. And the more you honor and respect yourself as light, the more others will actually also respect and honor you for who you are. They don't have to understand everything that you are doing. They don't have to believe everything you believe, but they are going to respect you. And that is a huge, 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 massive shift. And this, this comes through you respecting yourself as light. We haven't respected ourselves as light. We have suppressed our light. We have dimmed our light. And all of that has repressed ourselves. So we have repressed ourselves. We haven't loved, embraced, honored, and respect ourselves as light. And so as we start to let go of all of the old perceptions and all the mechanisms, we start to see ourselves more for who we are. And we no longer shame, blame, guilt trip ourselves, judge ourselves for being who we are anymore and or for choosing to play certain roles. So as you start to honor every single emotion that comes up in your reality, you start to dissolve that separation inside and you start to open yourself up for more of your light to come through into your body. Your light is the pure force, the pure light force, the pure power that shakes everything and dismantles everything that was upheld by the old 3D systems. The rebuilding and the reconstruction of your reality takes many, many forms and is in, and goes through many, many phases and it occurs in many, many levels. So your light body reconstructs your physical, internal, cellular DNA body. This is the light body's job. You don't have to do anything. This is not conscious. The conscious mind's doing. It's literally like, the, the 
the, your internal vital organs. They're, they function through the subconscious. Your conscious mind does not know what these vital organs need, how they function, all of these things. So it's exactly the same thing. Your light body is what recodes and recalibrates and reconstructs your entire DNA, your entire physical body. All we have to do is completely get out of the way. Stop being in the mind. Stop trying to control. Stop trying to resist the entire process. You just need to let go and surrender yourself to your light and light body. As you continue to open up to this, you are going to receive guidance. You are going to receive messages. Your body is going to move you physically to the different things, the different steps, the different decisions that you are going to have to make in order to reconstruct your whole entire reality. And so <clears throat> you, for me, just to kind of bring my, me and, and my experiences, my higher self, soul, light body guided me to um, quitting my job. In fact, I quit, I quit my job twice. <laughs> The first time was in 2016 when I had my first blown wide open galactic awakening. The second one was in 2019. My higher self, soul, light body universe guided me to um, move, relocate, shift my entire reality. Um, and it is a continual shifting. So, you know, the past three, three years have been just huge realignment for me, leaving my job, moving away from my parents, moving away from Texas, um, moving twice after that moving out of the country after that it is a continual process and all of it was done through me listening and honoring my light body my light my soul my universe because every guidance that i got realigned not my yes it realigned my entire reality of course but it realigned me so that my body can go deeper and deeper and deeper so that my body could realign deeper levels. So technically speaking, especially when I first left Texas, um, my partner at the time and I moved to a very rural city. And so we were surrounded by just nature and trees and just pure magic. And we didn't quite understand Stand it at the time. We thought we were just going to go bang on and work on our business and whatever the case may be. But when we got there, the, the, we didn't have, um, we did not have internet. We didn't have Wi Fi. So we had to kind of bring our own Wi Fi. And even when we brought our own Wi Fi, we had very little service. And so that allowed us to open up to just being in those frequencies just continuously open up, up more and more and more and more and more. And because we were surrounded by so much nature, it was a lot easier for our bodies to recalibrate to that frequency, to retune, to recode, to rebalance in a way that we wouldn't have been able to do it. We would have stayed in, in the city, in Texas. And so know that every reconstruction and every rebuilding is done in every level. And when your body hits a certain phase, it will guide you to move to a specific location or it will guide you to be more in nature. It will open up so that you have more time and space um, with the natural world, with Gaia. And this is a huge part of this process, by the way. Allowing yourself to be more in nature, more connected with nature, more in tune with nature, trees, plants, water, the sun, you name it. It will continuously, it will be a huge 
supportive decision that we all have to make in order for our bodies to continually reconstruct and recalibrate. That is a huge part of this process. I started doing it even before leaving Texas, spending more time outside, going to the park more, um, visiting different parts of, of the city with like more water, waterfalls, stuff like that, allowed us to get to a certain level. And when we reached a certain level, the body was like, okay, now you gotta move. You gotta be, you gotta move to a more nature spot, to a, to a place where there's more nature. And so we did that, we did that twice. And then I was kind of, I was brought back into the city. And at some level, it was just like, really? Like, I love it though. I love the rural, I love being sort of by nature. Like, so I had to go through all of that with, from within myself. But I recognized that I had achieved a higher, a high level of, con uh, higher level of consciousness and a, and a higher vibrational frequency within my body to where I could still function. I could still hold new earth within myself, even if I was guided to go back into the city. And so it was a very, very, very huge part of the, my process um, because even, even while coming back to the city, I was still able to hold more of my light inside. In fact, me leaving Texas and then coming back allowed me to see just how much I had expanded and just how much things had actually shifted. Things had completely shifted between, you know, between me and my parents, between me and my family, um, the relationship with myself had completely shifted. And so I had to honor that that was just me leaving the density of the big city had allowed me to one, get a taste for what my quote unquote future was going to, is going to at some, at some level be like, but it also allowed me to dismantle more and more and more and more of the structures within myself, the 3D structures. So it's going to be really, really important for all of us to continuously honor when we are being guided to either be more in nature, be more surrounded by nature. At some level, you may, you may be guided to travel more, travel more to, to nature spots or, and, or be relocate, completely relocate to another location. Many, many, many people are going through this and I, I had to go through this as, as well. And it is a really normal part of the process, by the way, that we each have to continue to honor. The, the traveling, the traveling more, the being out in nature more, and the relocating to a new space, a new place, a new location that will continuously support you and your life body more, more, and more, and more, and more. And so, again, that is a huge part of the rebuilding and the reconstruction process that happens in every level. Internally, cellularly, DNA, and externally. So just continue to open up more and more and more and more and more. In fact, I hadn't even actually thought about it, but this week marks, was it two years, three years? No, two, two years. I keep, I keep, there's no linear concept in me anymore, but two years ago is when we moved out of Texas, <laughs> um, which is fascinating. But there, it's, it's, it's such a normal, such a natural part of this process. So just continuously open up for the rebuilding process and your light body internal guidance. Because everything that you are being guided up and right now and in every moment is supporting your reconstruct, the reconstructing, the reconstruction and the rebuilding of your entire physical, internal, external, energetic reality in every way. So continue to open up to this. Continue to remind yourself that everything is supporting you. Continue to open up to your life body. Continue, continue to open up and honor everything that you're feeling, everything that you're sensing, 
everything that is being triggered and activated within you is literally supporting you at some level. And the more that you open up to this, the more you allow this, the more you embrace it, the more you are going to be less resistant of it. The less resistant you are, the more you can actually see how everything actually is truly supporting you in the most profound and magical ways. So continue to listen, continue to honor, and continue to keep going. I'll leave you with that. Sending you so much light, so much respect, so much honor, so much appreciation for all that you do. If you'd like to receive more support from me, you can go to awakendeeperwithin.com or follow any of the links below this video. With that, take care and we'll see you next time.